ani aya chat da kat at kush tu ye khaki ka khati ye hil ka washu khaga ashna cha khat da kat du ko ji chun ka ka konya ti ye li khayao a e he yao hao my name is shakawish i'm kosh kapan it's a clan here from yakutat and uh, we're Tlingit people, and we're very different from uh, the Eskimo peoples, Yupik and Inupat. And we had a culture and a way of life here. Instead of uh, building igloos or sod houses, we would build uh, massive, massive uh, wooden houses. And there used to be one on this island over here. That's uh, Utsuka. We've been here in the Yakutat area for a little over a thousand years since it was covered by a glacier. Uh, prior to that, we had migrated right along the outer coast here and the sea levels were lower down into southern southeast Alaska. Uh, some of us and, and some of us had come from the interior and were a, a mixed hybrid group of people. And uh, we combined with some Haida and Simshian groups and then uh, later again there was a migration down the Copper River of Iak and Atna people. They mixed in with us and then down the Alsek, the Southern Pichoni people and uh, created the, the hybrid culture that we have here today which we call Yakutat Tlingit, the Yakutat Tlingit people. Uh, we, we live here in the bay and we use the whole area for resources. Today we still hunt seals and we put up a lot of our own food, uh, like salmon. We catch usually uh, three of the five species of salmon for food, as well as halibut. And uh, we also hunt deer and moose annually. To put up food and we still gather uh, seaweed, two different types of seaweed uh, that we call kach and takask, uh, red ribbon seaweed and black seaweed. And we, uh, we subsist on uh, shellfish also, so we put up clams and cockles and mussels. Well I think one of the things that has been the most shocking to me about the way that this virus is being handled in some areas, especially when it's not taken seriously, is that people are failing to recognize the value of passing on knowledge from somebody that has lived a whole life like an elder to the young people. And that's the, the dangerous thing about this virus is that it's not going to affect the young people, but if we infect the older people, right, it's, it might not kill us being young and healthy, but it might kill our grandparents. And they have so much value because of the things that they've lived through that, that they can pass on to us so that we can build upon the successes of the past and we can avoid the failures. And so I would say that we should really be looking to the future and thinking about the way that we react to this virus and how it affects the future that we might have. I think it's really important that our children grow up with wisdom and respect so that they can build a better world. You know, this COVID-19 is only one crisis on top of this plethora of crises that's affecting the planet right now, one of the major ones being the climate crisis. And so that connection between us and our grandparents being severed is the biggest danger in my mind. 